Okay, so luxury vaping, what is it? Right, luxury vaping to me is the idea of getting the best balance of everything. You know what I mean? Uh, for instance, you want something that like you could carry with you that's going to last a long time, that's not going to be leaking or gurgling on you. Uh, you want very good flavor, you want excellent vapor production, you want the throat hit. Like you basically want everything. You want everything pretty good. You know, it's not all focused on just like, you know, big clouds or anything like that. So today I'm gonna help you guys achieve that. All right. So uh, everybody's going to have different opinions. In my opinion, okay, uh, the best stuff out on the market as of now, as of, you know, check it out the, the date of this, uh, this video, okay, is going to be uh, the things that I'm going to show you with, with, uh, as we go shopping together, okay? So, uh, as always with all my videos, <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys where to get the stuff, yeah, just in case you don't have it, all right? So, First, as always, I'm going to recommend the uh, mini screwdriver set. The screwdriver set is always important. It's going to help you, you know, uh, rebuild all your things together. And plus, you build all different kinds of coils on top of these screwdrivers. Absolutely need one. I recommend the cheap sets. Okay. Other than this, you will need <clears throat> a butane torch for, you know, uh, torching canthals, torching uh, silica, you know, basically purging items and cleaning things. Okay, let's move on. And then you will need nail clippers. Nail clippers, again, uh, as I always mention, it's, uh, it's accurate, it's sharp, it's cheap, it's, you know, we usually have it lying around the house. Uh, but if you want, you know, one uh, dedicated just for like rebuilding, then, you know, definitely get one uh, to add to your toolbox. All right. <clears throat> so now, on to the items that I think that you should get, okay? Your first standard item, okay, <clears throat> is going to be the Nemesis Mechanical Mod. Why, are the, why the Nemesis? Why the Nemesis over any other mods, okay? Uh, of course, I understand that, like, see, the thing about uh, luxury vaping, okay, is that it's going to involve a lot of high-end things, okay? But in order to get you guys, you know, uh, in uh, first step into the door, the only thing that I could recommend to you guys is the clones because that's the only thing that, you know, uh, we could do so that we could achieve the same thing without breaking the wallet. So, therefore, Nemesis clone, okay? Uh, doesn't matter which Nemesis you get, you get the regular silver one, you want to get the mixed edition, you want to get, like, whatever, that's fine. I don't really recommend, uh, recommend the anodized versions because uh, they have voltage drop issues. Uh, serious voltage drop issues. Normally, I'm not uh, big about like, okay, fine, so this one hits a little bit harder than that one. No big deal. We'll just rebuild the atomizer to make it work better, or we're going to use a kick or something like that to tweak it back up. Now, the kick is the main difference between uh, luxury vaping and cloud chasing, okay? So, <clears throat> Uh, the reason why I'm telling you to get the Nemesis is because the Nemesis is probably the best mod out there that supports a kick. Now, uh, a kick is normally about like 40 something dollars, okay? So you could get a kick over here for $8 instead. Now, I recommend that you get the variable wattage one. Okay, the variable wattage adjustment just makes a lot more sense with mechanical devices as opposed to the variable voltage one. All right, I'm not going to get into the explanation of why, but trust me, go with the wattage one over the voltage one. Okay, you won't regret it. So, for those of you who are a little bit iffy about like you know um, fast tech nemesis mod and you want to pay a little bit more for a slightly better nemesis, then everybody will tell you vape royalty has the H cigar. Uh, you know, either the brass version or the normal version or whatever, and the H Cigar one is, you know, the, the better of all the copies, all right? So, moving on, what kind of atomizer are we going to need for this, okay? Well, <clears throat> I recommend that you definitely go either get a Russian 91% or you go ahead and get yourself a KFUN 3.1. Don't go with the KFUN light. You've seen a lot of people with, like, KFUN lights and stuff like that. Yeah, it's decent, it's okay, or whatever. However, the KFUN 3.1 and the Russian 91% are uh, are the two that has the airflow adjustment, okay? See, the thing is that, like, I want you guys to get a kick, and I want you guys to get an atomizer that has an airflow adjustment in it. Why? Because we want 
the adjustability and everything. It's kind of like buying a car with like power seating, power mirrors, power windows. You want to be able to adjust everything. You don't want to just, you know, be fixed with, with, with certain things. That wouldn't make any sense. You wouldn't call that luxury anymore. Okay, so other than the combination of either the Russian or the Kfon, depending on which one you think looks better because they come in different finishes, uh, another uh, setup, all right, would be the Aqua. The Aqua is all the hype right now because it's basically the same idea as the K-Fun, except uh, this is a dual coil setup. Now, keep in mind that it's not necessarily that uh, better to go with dual coil. Uh, single coil setups can be just as satisfying. Dual coil setups can be very satisfying as well. It really, really, really depends, okay? So don't be like, oh, I got to go with the dual or no, I have to go. You know what I mean? Either one is good. It, it, it depends which one you like, really, okay? So, um, a noticeable difference, okay, is that the Aqua is a 21 millimeter device. So, also recommended is that you just go ahead and get the same uh, mod that's uh, the, the same maker as the UVO, the same maker, so you get the Origin mechanical style mod, okay? See, the, the Origin mod over here, I'll show you real quick. You scroll down, 21 millimeters, and same thing over here for the Aqua style rebuildable atomizer. We scroll down to the bottom, 21 millimeters. So you know they're together. This guy, these two guys are a pair, and it's going to mount flush. All right. Uh, the last item that is also a, a recommendation for me is, you know, the Covenant Chi U. Right? Everybody has a Chi U as well. So the Chi U with the AIOS system. Okay, uh, of course, the AOS system makes the Chiyu into a hybrid system. We'll talk more about that as we get into it. Uh, at the end of this video, what I will do is that I will break it into three sections so that, like, depending on what you purchased, whether you got the Nemesis and the K-Fun, or you got the Aqua setup, or you got the Chiyu setup, I will teach you how to build all three. Okay, but the point of... of, of luxury vaping is to purposely go with the higher end stuff. Now, if we bought all the real stuff to this, this is going to cost hundreds and hundreds of dollars, okay? But since we're on this site, you know, it's not going to break the bank. You see $16, $20, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. As always, uh, with all the items that you get, you could, you're going to always need Canthal, okay? Uh, for this one, I'm going to recommend you only get either 28 gauge Canthal or 30 gauge Canthal. Why? Because we are working with advanced tank systems. They're not drippers, they're not Genesis, they're not regular tanks, they're just advanced tank systems, okay? Advanced tank systems, they all have a small chamber on the inside and a smaller chimney on the inside, okay? And what happens is that with that kind of reduced area, uh, 28 gauge Canthal, 38 gauge Canthal is actually able to produce a lot of heat. You don't have to go all the way down to 24, 22, you know, 18, go nuts, like as if you were on a dripper. So I seriously recommend 30 uh, or 28, maybe 32, not so much 32, but 30, 28 would probably be like, you know, the sweet spot. Um, for the wick, um, all three of my setups were going to be using cotton wicks. So go ahead and get yourself a bag of or cotton, uh, organic cotton balls, and uh, I'll see you later on with the builds, okay? So click over here if you want to see the K-Fun build, and over here if you want to see the uh, Aqua build, and then down here if w you, you went ahead and went with the, the, the classic Chiyu and the AIOS system, okay? So um, pick a slot and I will teach you how to build each one and it'll come out amazing flavor, amazing textures, amazing vapor production, amazing everything. So you're gonna get all of the best worlds together, right? Take care guys.